If you see tiny little gnat-like insects buzzing around your kitchen, it's a good chance they're fruit flies. These pesky bugs can be a problem all year long, but they're most common in summer and into the fall. That's because they love ripened fruits and vegetables. Fruit flies live off the juices of fruit, which give them sustenance, nutrients, and energy. The more time a fruit fly has to feed off the fruit, the more the fly will mature into its adult self, becoming ready to lay its own larva. In this video, we're going to tell you how to get rid of fruit flies fast. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Before we dive in, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to be wise daily. Now, let's go! Trap fruit flies in vinegar. In a bowl or cup, place a small amount of vinegar at the bottom. Don't use white vinegar, but a cider variety such as red wine, balsamic, or cider vinegar. If you haven't gone completely zero waste in your kitchen yet, if you have, cheers! Cover the top tightly with plastic wrap. It may also help to place a rubber band around it to make sure the plastic wrap stays in place. Poke some small holes in the wrap. The flies will crawl in but they won't be able to crawl out. You can avoid plastic by creating a funnel out of a piece of paper and then putting it into a jar filled with a little bit of cider vinegar. Put the trap wherever you've seen fruit flies. You can release them outside once you catch them. Identify the fly. Part of the problem with fruit flies is that they look a lot like other types of flies, and how you get rid of each does depend on where they are. It's important to confirm whether or not you're in fact dealing with fruit flies, because treatment for getting rid of them differs from something like fungus gnats or drain flies. Drain flies look like tiny black moths that can often be confused with fruit flies because both lay eggs and drains. They have fluffy dark wings that are round and held flat on top of the body, and their antenna are fluffy and feathery like moth antenna. In fact, another name for drain flies are moth flies. Fungus gnats are a roughly 1 8 inch in size and have a similar resemblance to mosquitoes. They have long legs and a lackluster flying ability, so you may see them stumbling around and spending more time scurrying along with houseplants and windows. Fruit flies, on the other hand, are very quick and elusive, and are usually found in kitchens where there's ripening fruit and garbage. They can quickly be identified by their characteristically large red eyes. Wine Bottle Trap Using some expired wine that is more on the vinegary side, add a few drops of liquid dish soap to the wine inside the wine bottle. Make sure it's less than half full. You want as much space as possible for the fruit fly to try to fly back up and die. The fruit fly should drown as soon as they land on the surface, thanks to the liquid dish soap. But if some of them do survive the mixture, they should have a pretty hard time flying back up and out of the wine bottle. Wipe down surfaces that are potential breeding grounds. Wipe down all cabinet surfaces thoroughly. Clean the interior of all household trash cans. Make sure that your trash cans do not have any food residue stuck to the interior walls. They should look like they did when you first bought them. Always use trash bags and throw the trash bag away at the end of the day. If the bag isn't full and you don't want to toss it, at least make sure it's always covered. Wipe down any fruit or vegetables ripening on your countertops. To wipe the fruit, use a clean towel that you have dipped in slightly soapy water. After wiping, rinse and dry the fruit. You can also use a combination of water and apple cider vinegar in place of soap to wipe the fruit. One cup of water 
to one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Put the fruit and veggies in an empty paper bag. This allows them to continue to ripen. Leave a candle trap. For a more unconventional solution, playing with the fruit flies' attraction to light. You will need to place the candle and secure it to stand up straight in the bowl before filling the bowl with water. Then ensure the rest of your room is dark, so the flame is the only source of light left to attract the fruit fly. When they get too close, the heat from the flame will scourge their wings. Unable to fly, they will fall into the water and drown, Jordan explains. Tempt the flies with rotting fruit. This is what brought them to your home in the first place, so you might as well use it to your advantage. Instead of tossing rotten fruit or produce, use it as bait. Take an empty jar or disposable container and place a tiny amount of vinegar inside along with a piece of ripened fruit. Roll a piece of paper into a cone shape and insert the tapered end inside the glass. The overripe fruit will attract the flies to swarm inside the trap, and the cone will ensure that they stay there. Repeat until all of the fruit flies are gone. Clean common areas. Check out the drain in your kitchen sink. If it's clogged or in need of a good cleaning, now's the time to take care of it. Fruit flies like to live and breed in warm, damp spaces. Don't forget to check your trash cans for any signs of fruit fly activity. Fruit flies have been known to lay their eggs in trash cans, worsening the infestation. If they're swarming around your trash can, or if you'd like to prevent such a situation, take out the trash and wipe down the can using a heavy-duty cleaner, such as bleach. Make sure the cans are completely dry before using them again. Keep doors and windows sealed. Fruit flies are amazing little creatures who will travel miles to find a good meal or that perfect nesting spot. Keep doors and windows closed. Fresh fruits and vegetables are wonderful to cook with and a much healthier choice for snacking than junk food. But whether you bought it at the grocery store, the farmer's market, or picked it up from your own garden, it could be covered with fruit flies or tiny larvae. Washing old produce with a vegetable scrubber or soft brush with a little vinegar should neutralize the bacteria from your produce. Set up traps. A fruit fly trap can get the problem under control pretty quickly. Many store-bought traps perform really well. It's simply a sweet liquid that attracts the flies into a container from which they're unable to escape. You can also make your own fruit fly trap. It's not difficult to make your own fruit fly trap. It can be a little cheaper and more satisfying than buying a commercial trap. The best way to make your very own fruit fly trap is to use a small jar like a mason jar and put about a cup of apple cider vinegar into it. Then add a few drops of dish soap. That's all there is to it. You can also add a funnel to the top of the jar, which makes it easy for flies to enter, but very difficult to leave before touching the liquid. Start by deep cleaning your kitchen. The important step to getting rid of fruit flies is removing any ripe or rotten food where they might have laid eggs which means throwing away anything sitting on your kitchen counter. It might seem like a waste, but fruit fly larvae will tunnel into produce to feed. So do you really want to eat that apple? Thoroughly wash any product you bring home and store it in the fridge. Regularly wipe down counters to ensure the flies don't find any food remnants. And generally, keep your kitchen as clean as possible for at least a week to prevent female fruit flies from laying more eggs. Keep garbage disposals clean. Disposal units are a natural haven for fruit fly eggs and larvae to develop. They are generally always wet and the supply of food is constantly being delivered. Luckily, it is easy to clean garbage disposals. Simply pour it full of ice, add one cup of salt or vinegar, 
and then run the disposal with the water running as you normally would. This scrubs out food particles that might be stuck inside the disposal and, as an added bonus, will sharpen the blades of your disposal. Grease is going to leak through sacks, sugary drinks are going to settle, and food crumbs are going to collect in their bottoms. Cleaning garbage is not a pleasant chore, but is a key step to helping prevent fruit flies from invading your home or business. They should be scrubbed and sanitized on a regular basis to deny fruit flies a food source. Let us know your opinion in the comments section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to be wise daily. Stay safe and we'll be back soon with another video. Adios amigos.